Breaking news on News 4. Breaking right now at 4 o'clock, two fugitives have been caught. They were accused in a series of crimes spanning more than 500 miles. Here are their mugshots. That includes, the charges this, for that matter, include the murders of four people. Brady Witcher and Brittany McMillan are the names. They were arrested in Missouri. The allegations against them include a home invasion and kidnapping in Clarksville. And that is where we find News 4's Forrest Sanders here kicking things off. Forrest. Well, uh, police told us that earlier this week they tried to catch this couple just right up the road at a Walmart. Instead, police tell us that the couple went through a wooded area and finally ended up in this apartment complex right back here. And this is where neighbors are still shaken. It's scary to think that just a few feet away, these people had been held hostage all night long and I had no clue. Angela May of Clarksville tells us she was far too close to a case only getting scarier and only getting more complicated. It starts one week ago in Jefferson County, Alabama. Police found a woman bound in zip ties in this complex who said she was kidnapped by a couple for her knowledge of a murder. The body of Kelly Ann Hughes was found in a wooded area near a hospital. Brady Witcher and Brittany McMillan are accused in the murder. The story moves to this week, Clarksville. Witcher and McMillan are spotted in two Walmart locations, with Witcher accused of flashing a gun to a worker when they tried to stop him from shoplifting. Police say Witcher and McMillan ended up at this Westfield Court complex where they found an unlocked door and tied up the young couple inside in a closet. It's right next door. Yeah, I heard a gentleman and a loud voice arguing, and then two minutes later, a woman say, look what you did, and then complete silence. But Angela had no idea the seriousness of what was happening so close. Police say in a struggle, the man who lives here was stabbed while the woman wrestled a gun away from McMillan. They say Witcher and McMillan stole the couple's truck and escaped. Finally, in Hazelwood, Missouri, Witcher and McMillan were arrested in a hotel and are now suspects in a triple murder in nearby Bethalto, Illinois. With all of this quickly unfolding, Angela says there's some comfort in knowing her next door neighbors are okay, but this has brought a hard lesson. We just have to be better neighbors and you have to meet everybody. And Angela tells us this is even more reason why she's keeping her door locked. She fears if she didn't have her door locked the other day, these two would have ended up in her home. Tracy. Can you even imagine? Forrest Sanders tonight, thank you very much. This will be our top story throughout the entire evening. Coming up at 5, we'll have a live report out of St. Louis. That is where police are working the triple homicide. You can follow along with updates on the News 4 app.